Well, what's going on everybody? Wacko Backo here. So today, as you guys see by the thumbnail, we have some brand new tins to open up. But first, let's start with some code cards. And then there's one thing I want to get into while we're getting all this prepped and opened. Uh, and then we'll get into the opening. So we have all three of the brand new uh, Crown Zenith tins here. We have the Articuno. We have the Zapdos. And we have the Moltres. You guys let me know which promo is your favorite out of the three. Um, but as I get these open and prepped, we'll talk about... Uh, just something real quick. So, as the time of this recording, which this is uh, Thursday, um, obviously this is being uploaded on Friday. But anyway, um, so of course we're about a week out from the Scarlet and Violet base set official release, and the Pokemon Center, like usual, has gone ahead and released the next set that comes out, or has revealed uh, the next set that comes out after that. Um, which uh, I don't know. It's a bit annoying to me. And they do this all the time, so it's no surprise, but, uh, like, my whole thing is, and again, I know all the content creators, you know, got their stuff super early, and, you know, um, yeah, they've been showing it off for about a week now or whatever, but I think it's just a bit annoying how, um, like, we're not even at the official release of the first set, and they're already promoting the next one, which isn't even dropping till June, so, I don't know, you guys let me know what you think, I, again, I think it's annoying, um, just let a set kind of live in the limelight, especially for a brand new generation that's starting with uh, Scarlet and Violet. Um, especially with all the Pokemon and the new pack configurations and all that good stuff. And they're already just like, okay, cool, great, on to the next thing. Like it's, I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm the only one that feels that way, but let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm going to be asking the same question over on Instagram, but uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Again, I mean, obviously, you know, like usual, I'm going to get into it and see how it is. But uh, I just think it's a bit annoying that they do this all the time. Like, <laughs> like, like this TCG isn't already a cash grab as is. But anyway, back to the positive side of this. We have some amazing tins to open up. And I'm super excited because not only do I get to add more promos to the promo binder, which is creeping up to about 300 cards so far and counting. Um, but... Uh, Yep, there's a promo, or there's a code, but uh, yeah, we get to open up some more Crown Zenith and try our luck, um, you know, possibly getting some higher end pulls out of these also. So I am going to leave all three of these stacks separate, just to see uh, which tin did us better. Uh, so I did buy a sealed case of this, which comes of one of each tin, so um, I would think, at least as of right now, I'm going to leave the other set sealed uh, and just leave them in the box. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see if they spike in price anytime soon or how these pulls are. But, I don't know. I, I like trying to keep at least something from each set sealed. Um, just, again, I, I have a sealed collection you guys have saw recently. Um, it's, it's pretty massive, so I want to keep adding to it. Um, and then going into Scarlet and Violet to continue to do the same thing. But here we go. So there are all the... Let me get these sleeves out of the way. Um... All the promos, let me know which one in the comment section below is your favorite. Um, but without further ado, let's start with Articuno's 10. So I'm going to um, do this. Move it up to the top. This is going to be a mess. I know I'm all over the place. But it's all right. We'll get through it. So there we go there. You can still see that. Let's move these here. You can still see that. And there we go. All right, cool. All right, here we go. Crown Zenith got 15 packs to get through. I do like that the all these tins, um, it's all the same pack, obviously. Uh, sometimes you get these tins where it's a mixed batch of stuff, but because this is like a specialty set, it kind of makes sense that they're doing all the same pack in each. So let's see what we got. So we got Friends in Sinnoh. I pulled the Full Art recently. Great Ball, Saladid. We have Purloin, Grubbin, Skrelp, Helioptile. We have Chatot as the reverse. And what are we going to start off with? <laughs> there it is again. Okay. <laughs> so, absolutely amazing. Uh, so, uh, almost back-to-back -back Crown Zenith openings, I've pulled this card. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, this one looks like it has a little bit better centering uh, than the last one, so maybe I'll add this to the grade pile. You guys let me know, um, especially for all my full art fans out there. An absolutely beautiful card and a super awesome way to start. Um, all right, so there we go. Let's put that there and let's keep going. I would really like to see, and maybe I can will this into existence now, I would like to see a gold card. Um, especially all the amazing gold cards that are in this set. 
Um, I've pulled the Secret Rare Pikachu a bunch, which is awesome, and I wouldn't mind having more of that. But, uh, yeah, I want to see some gold. I've opened up well over 100 packs so far, and I know the pull rates, guys. I've seen them <laughs> online from, you know, like TCG Player and all that. That opened up, like, thousands of packs. But, uh, ooh, okay, that's good, too. I'll <laughs> gladly take that. Good old Radiant Charizard just showed up. Um, absolutely beautiful. I really like this artwork better compared to the other Radiant Charizard from Pokemon Go. Uh, both still absolutely amazing cards. Let's see if there's anything behind it. And a Yon Mega. Uh, a buddy of mine pulled this and the Secret Rare Pikachu in one pack, which is huge. So absolutely beautiful. Let me sleeve that up. Um, yeah, so there we go. Awesome tin so far. <laughs> I'm only, what, two packs in? Um, yeah, I don't know. I might have to crack all those other ones. I, I don't know. Nope, I have to talk myself out of it because otherwise I'll literally just grab those other tins right now and we'll roll through them. So I think 15 packs is enough for right now. Obviously, there's more Crown Zenith to open up as they sprinkle out the other products. I still need to do the mini tins, uh, which I'm hoping to do sometime next week. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's see what we have here. Ooh, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? This tin is stacked. Suicune V from the Galarian Gallery. This is absolutely beautiful. It's my first legendary dog pull from uh, the Galarian Gallery. Absolutely beautiful. And Zero Aura. Wow. Um, glad I left these sleeves out, huh? Three huge pulls back to back. Just love the artwork that they did with this. And it really looks like it's going to continue on into Scarlet and Violet. Uh, if you haven't seen any of the new Japanese sets that have come out, they're working on like their third one already. Um, just all absolutely beautiful artwork. And they're going full tilt on what they're calling the art rares now. Um, so... Yeah, I'm just super excited to see how they're going to add into the English sets, but uh, let's keep rolling. Um, but yeah, so uh, so something else, so just a little bit of preview of what's coming up. So um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw a bunch of the ETBs that I got in uh, along with these tins. So Sunday we're going to do a Crown, I'm sorry, a Silver Tempest uh, ETB. Um, I have three Pokemon Go ETBs. I'm going to do them all in one setting. It'll be... I already coined the, not coined, but uh, I already set the name for that one. It's going to be my last go at Pokemon Go. I know it's dumb. Um, but yeah, we'll do all 30 packs in that one. And then hopefully, hopefully for Friday's opening, uh, I'll have all of my pre-orders in for uh, Scarlet and Violet base set. So we'll go through the whole entire weekend cracking into that. So that's about your week outlook uh, for some of my next openings. <laughs> we have another Galarian Gallery. They have Buy Barrel there. Absolutely amazing. Just kind of ate his way through that whole pile of logs there. And uh, all the other Bidoofs around him. Absolutely beautiful. And nice. Tapu Lele Hollow. Very, very nice. Um, yeah, not bad at all. But uh, yeah, so there's a little bit of a preview of what's coming up. Um, and then again, obviously there's still more Crown Zenith stuff to open up. There's going to be plenty of Scarlet and Violet stuff to open up. And uh, yeah, just any other sets I still need to keep working on. So... Um, I do have some mail coming in also, so we'll have a mail day either next week or the week after. So, yeah, just a little bit of a preview. Um, there is an announcement I'll, I'll need to make probably, I don't know, I'm trying to put it off. But, uh, yeah, it's not anything bad, I promise. But, uh, yeah, there's some stuff I want to talk about. Uh, maybe I'll wait a couple weeks. Maybe I'll save it till April. But uh, just a little bit of a heads up there for anyone watching this. All right, Leon as the reverse. Very, very nice. Got that signature there and behind it is a double. All right, so there's our first pack that uh, we didn't have anything super crazy. Well, I mean, I guess, so let's see, one, two, three, four, I don't know. So yeah, maybe five packs. So our first 10, uh, obviously absolutely amazing. Articuno is definitely uh, off to a strong start. And uh, let me move so just a little bit there. All right, cool. So let's see what Zapdos has waiting for us. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have had a good week so far and looking forward to the weekend. Um, what do you guys normally do on the weekend? I usually just spend a lot of time either putting out Pokemon content or I'm gaming uh, or streaming with my buddies over at Dot Slash Frag. So uh, super excited about that. I just realized something too. I'm going to have to check after I use this. So Yon Mega and Volcarona. All right, so <laughs> dumb me. Um, you guys probably going to see this, but uh, this here, this is the plug for my mic. So let me actually plug this in. Uh, Audio is probably going to sound better in about three, two, one. Okay, so let's continue. <laughs> um, just completely scatterbrained, but I was just happened to look at the actual tripod. And I was like, hmm, pretty sure that's supposed to be plugged in. So let me know if you can tell the audio difference. Um, 
I know this mic is you know not the most high end, but from what I've been told, it's pretty good quality and uh, it sounds a lot better when I'm actually using it. So hopefully you guys will notice a difference, but let's keep rolling. And let's see what we have in this one. We have Potion, Bidoof, we have Pawniard. Ooh, nice, Comfy, very, very nice. I haven't pulled this one yet, so another fresh pull for the Galarian Gallery. We're doing really, really good on these today, and hopefully we can keep getting more new ones. And behind it is an Enamorous. All right. Very, very nice. Um, yeah, again, it's, I mean, 70 cards for the Galarian Gallery. It's definitely a feat to get. Um, but uh, it seems like, especially if you just want to go out and buy them all, uh, like, individually, um, the prices are starting to go down a little bit. Obviously, you know, the set's been out for a little bit. The hype is kind of calming down, even though it's probably going to be one of the most popular. Look at the color the discoloration between these ones and then that one. Um, yeah, it's weird. Um, but it's definitely going to be one of the more popular uh, sword and shield sets. But, uh, yeah, like even a lot of the gold cards are getting to around that $100 and under price range. So um, if you're more into just kind of doing an initial opening and then buying cards for the set, um, the prices are going down. So, you know, you might be in luck, might wait a little bit longer uh, to see if, you know, the cards that you're really, really looking for keep dropping in price. But uh, anyway, we have Energy Retrieval. Ooh, nice, Electivire, another Galarian Gallery. It is a duplicate for me, but I'll gladly take it. And Volcanion Hollow, very, very nice, a nice two-piece there. Gladly take that. All right, on to the next. So, again, with, so, with sets like these where um, you have so many hits even from just the regular set, and then the subset with 70 cards and all the amazing artwork you can get from them, you're bound to have awesome openings. So even if you can only get a couple packs here and there, uh, you're probably going to have a really good time. So I definitely recommend, if you haven't cracked into this set yet, you should um, try your luck. There's probably one of your favorite Pokemon in here. All right, let's see what we have. So we have Seal, we have Pawniard, we have Energy Retrieval, so no Galarian Gallery. But behind it is a Scizor. All right, nothing crazy, even though Scizor is one of my favorites. All right, here we go, last pack. So let's see if this one can kind of keep up with the Articuno tin. Still, I mean, can't complain. We've had some great pulls out of this tin also. But uh, let's see if we can end this one off with something huge and then roll right into that Moltres and that, like, downward spiral that it's going. All right, here we go. Salazzle, Rare Candy, and Snorrun. Then we have Pancham, Shinx, Lulu, Helioptile. We have Cricketot, and... All right, Volcarona. So not the strongest end, but hey, you know what? we still got some great cards here. And, of course, the promo looks absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to move this here, just slide it over just a little bit. Um, so there we go. That's how we're looking with that right there. So we had Articuno, we have Zapdos. Now let's get into the Moltres tin. So <clears throat> hopefully you guys have been enjoying this opening so far. If you have, make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you are subscribed, I really, really appreciate all the support. Uh, we've got uh, a lot of new subscribers in this month already, which is super exciting. And um, hopefully we continue to go from here. But uh, make sure you guys have notifications on so you guys know when I post content. Uh, you guys should know the schedule by now, but just in case. Helium tile. We have Execute and Pangora. All right, so not the strongest start for Moltres, but I always keep forgetting that energy. Um, but uh, so something I want to point out real quick is just me is always funny to look at the cards when they're stacked and to see like the discoloration or like obviously they're all pack fresh but you can just see maybe like how the sheet was made or something like that it's always i don't know just one of those weird pokemon things right maybe that should be a new hashtag anyway let's go into this here let's see what we can get hopefully we can get some other nice pulls out of this but if not obviously i can't complain we've gotten so many hits out of these uh <laughs> out of these packs so far look sun and moon showed up uh, yeah obviously it's been a solid opening so let's see what we have here potion we have Bidoof. Nice, Cricketune. All right, so another fresh one here. Very, very nice. Haven't pulled this one. I just love the artwork on these. Um, I think Max Mofo said it the best. And, I, you know, shout out to Max. Um, I think it's so cool how the, like, the key Pokemon in these is kind of zoomed out. So you get to really uh, enjoy the background and the environment around the Pokemon. So let me know if you guys like that as well. But let's see if there's anything behind it. And a Tangrowth. All right, so f first hit. For this tin here just a couple more packs to go uh, like i said still have plenty more openings to do uh, going into the weekend and going into next week again friday is the official release day for scarlet and violet base set no i haven't seen any of the openings that have happened already nothing against those content creators i mean it's awesome that you get stuff early but uh 
yeah, I'm waiting till official release like everybody else. And uh, yeah, should be a really, really awesome release day. Can't wait to get into all the new stuff. Tangla. We have Bidoof kind of gnawing away on that stump and a Luxray. All right. Two more packs to go. God, energy. I keep forgetting to grab that. Anyway, here we go. Let's see if we can get at least one more hit out of this one. I think we started off super strong with Articuno. Um, and uh, we've been doing well, but let's see if we can get something crazy, right? That'd be nice. All right, here we go. Code card. Best luck to whoever's getting those, by the way. If you do claim any codes in these openings, uh, let me know in the comments what you get. Here we go. Let's see. We have Matang, the Energy Switch, and Krakarok. Then we get to Skrelp, Grubbin, and the Energy Search. We have Saladin, Oddish, Salazzo as the reverse, and a Live Heart. All right, so nothing crazy there. But here we go. Last pack of the opening. Come on. Let's see if we can get something good here. Um, but if not, I had a good time going through this, and hopefully you enjoyed it as well. All right, here we go. Last pack. Pull that coat off. There we go. And let's see what we got here. Four to the front, flip it on over. It's gonna be so weird with Scarlet and Violet not having to do that. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that update that the Pokemon company put out about the new packs for Scarlet and Violet, uh, and you wanna see a separate video on that, I'll gladly do it. But uh, starting with Scarlet and Violet base set, we won't have to do the pack trick anymore, which seems kind of crazy because we've been doing it for forever, but uh, I really like why they're doing it that way. So anyway, here we go. We have Soul Rock, Croc -a Rock, and Luxio. Then we get to Wooloo, Helioptile, and Skrelp, Grubbin, Purloin, come on. Ooh, nice, let's go. Two in one opening, I'll gladly take that. Radiant Charizard again to kind of close us off. Absolutely amazing. I think the other one's got better centering, so this one's going in the binder, the other one's getting graded. But let's see if we got anything else behind this. And nice, there we go, very, very nice. I know those people are like, hey, it's an energy. No, no, this is what the, one of the textured ones. Uh, again, it's still part of the set, but absolutely amazing. What a solid way to end that tin. Um, but uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Again, those were the brand new um, Crown Zenith tins. Uh, we have Zapt or sorry, we have Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres. These are all the hits that we got from each tin. Again, absolutely insane. I can't complain. I'm super excited to add a lot of these to the binder and. Uh, yeah, and, and again, some of these are going into my pile of uh, stuff that's getting graded. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do, and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm Wacko Backo. Take it easy.